Sziasztok! Remélem nagyon sokan maradtatok, és még többen jöttetek a következő programunkra. Egy híres angol színészt és írót fogunk itt köszönteni a Mondokon nagy színpadán, aki már több évtizede a pályán van, főleg bbc is TV filmekben és angol filmekben játszott, de aztán feltűnt hollywoodi produkciókban is. Ez egészen visszamenek 1985-ig, ahol a berlini affér filmben kapta az első legnagyobb szerepét, de sokkal többen ismerhetitek a Johnny English című filmből, mint Tony Blair-t, vagy a Karib-tenger kalózaiból, mint Mr. Gibbs-et. Az utóbbi karakter hozta meg számára a nemzetközi ismerettséget, és az egyik legikonikusabb karaktere lesz. Vele fogunk most majd beszélgetni itt a Mondokon nagy színpadán, és köszöntsétek nagy tapsa, Kevin McNally. Hello Budapest! Thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. It's good to be here. Uh, I would like to ask that, how do you feel? How do you like the convention so far? Were you ever in Budapest? Well, I'm, I'm 10 minutes in oh. and it's great It's so great. Far. So it will be even better yes. <laughs> after you spend some time here. It's big. There are a lot of you. And excuse me for not having your language. You'll have to put up with some English for a while. I'm sorry. It's okay. Uh, uh, ha lesz majd kérdésetek a panel végén, akkor fogunk tudni fordítani, úgyhogy ne ijedjetek meg, nyugodtan gyertek, és akkor segítünk majd. Okay, so uh, as I, as I uh, read, you were one of the five actors who played in all of the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. Uh, can you tell me about something of the series? What do you like? Why do you play? Well, first of all, I was one of three actors. One of the three actors. In all five oh, movies. Yes. But there mm -hmm. was also a monkey who was in all of the... Oh, the monkey. I love the, the monkey. monkey. <laughs> um, there's actually two monkeys. There's an acting monkey mm -hmm. and a stunt monkey what? for doing all the stunts. <clears throat> oh, I didn't know so that. So actually there are five of us. There's two monkeys and three people. Yeah. <laughs> what, do you like, what do you like about the series? What got your attention to get for the roles? <laughs> well, there, ha there hadn't been um, a pirate film, for a successful pirate film, for many years. And when I was a kid, we used to play pirates in the playground at school. So the chance to do it with even bigger and better toys was great. I have to tell you, I love pirates, and I watched all of the movies, and I really liked them, because great. the atmosphere was so great. And uh, <coughs> you said that you uh, liked to play pirates when you were little. A bit all the stage and dressing up, like we are in a convention, we all dress up. <laughs> and uh, can you tell us about something about the costumes, the getting ready for the set, and how does it feel to be a, a real pirate in a set? Well, it, um, it's always the, the greatest part is putting on the costume. <clears throat> I made a terrible mistake in the first film that I didn't have any shoes. Mm -hmm. And I was on a wooden ship. So I had a lot of splinters, oh, we call them splinters oh, wow. in my feet. So the first thing I made sure of on the second film was that I had big boots. Big, heavy boots. <laughs> to protect your feet from To protect all my things. feet, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like all your cosplay. These people have come as two regular people. Look. <laughs> Yeah, it's a little bit chilly today, so we are all dressed up. I, I wore a coat, so There's don't a Mr. Easy. Gibbs over there, look. What? Oh, yeah. Yes, Hello. yes, we have pirates here. <laughs> yes, as a Mr. Gibbs. <laughs> yes, would you, would, would you come here and show us our costume? Come and show us your Gibbs come. costume. Show us our, your Gibbs costume. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, okay, now, now I'm interviewing you, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was always wondering about the movies that uh, it has such big scenery, some nice uh, atmosphere, that how much was that a real one and how much was the CGI generated scenes in the movies? What, what do you mean, how um, scary was it to do? No, what did you mean? 
I, I mean that uh, what uh, we saw on the film at the end, what, how much was uh, the green screen one and how much was the real location? Oh, yes, very good. <clears throat> the first three films, what was amazing about them was that if we were going to cut a ship in half, we would actually cut a ship in half. And that was great. Um, for me, sadly, uh, as time went on and you know the Marvel films became more popular, the last two films relied more and more on CGI and green screen, mm. which is, um, it can be very boring to do because you're just in a big green room and they show you some pictures saying it'll sort of look like this later, you know, so. But yeah. the first three were amazing. You know, out in real ships at sea was wonderful. Oh, I, I can imagine. I, I love this, the ships and the sea and oh, it's really great. Um, what was it like to film movies with names like Johnny Depp, Keira Knightley, Orlando Bloom? A wonderful, a great cast. In, in fact, when I was offered the film, I thought, well, this is a silly film because it's based on a ride and um, it, the pirate films weren't a thing. So I thought it wouldn't be successful. But then when I saw that people like Johnny Depp and Jeffrey Rush were, were attached to it, I thought, well, they know a lot more about films than I do. So maybe they can see something in it that I haven't seen yet. And indeed, as we went on to film it, it became more apparent that it was, it was going to be big and epic. And it became bigger. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have a few more questions for you. Like, uh, would you take another role from the series? How do you think? Is there anything about Mr. Gibbs that the films didn't tell already? Um, no, I think I've pretty much <laughs> explored Mr. Gibbs. But, I, uh, but my bank manager tells me if I get offered another one, I have to do it. Yes. I would love a movie about Mr. Gibbs only. Well, uh, so would I, but um, I think it would have a much smaller viewing audience. I think people might miss uh, Jack Sparrow. Jack Sparrow is an iconic character, but I also like Mr. Gibbs. Well, thank you very much. Yes, uh, what was... Mm, you have... Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, um, actually, I was uh, interested in what was the funniest or most memorable moment about filming the series? Anything you can think of, the scariest, the funniest? Well, the funniest um, moment for me was um, when, uh, when I was on the deck and Jack Sparrow comes to me and says, where is my ship? And I'm cuddling my little baby toy. Um, and he wakes me up with water and uh, Johnny Depp managed to get that water in my ear every time. <laughs> every time, right in my ear. I'm still partly deaf to this day. Oh, this is so bad. Would you like me to demonstrate? <laughs> no, thank you. I have prosthetic ears. <laughs> but maybe some of the audience are... Yes. Yeah, we have Mr. Gifts. You can try. All right. Mm, anything you would like to share with us, some behind no, the scenes? No, but I, I'd love to answer any questions okay. that you might have about Pirates franchise, acting in general. Or Pirates. Or costumes. General. Costumes, yes. Or ships. Look over there. There's, a little, there's two hands <laughs> over there. Come here. Are you going to? Yes, yeah. yes, yes. We have we're going to get a microphone to you. Yes. Okay. Uh, nyugodtan gyertek előre, álljatok ide sorba középre, mindjárt hozunk nektek mikrofont, és akkor feltehetitek nek a kérdéseket Mr. McNally-nek. Lesz majd, aki fordít nektek, úgyhogy ne ijedjetek meg, gyertek nyugodtan. Bármit. Uh, what was the scariest moment in... I don't know, the first movie. Well, uh, fortunately, it was a scene that I wasn't in. It's when the moon comes out and the pirates are all cursed. Even I found that terrifying. That was a really scary, scary moment. Thank you for your question. Thank you for coming. Hi, there's... Uh, hello. 
there's a scene when Captain Jack Sparrow falls down the, the stairs when he has a jar of dirt. Did he actually fall off? And was that, um, was that a stunt? Like, was that in the script? Um, phew, I don't remember. I, there, there was a stuntman involved, um, but I don't know which bit of it he did. Are you talking about his first entrance in the first film? Stepping off the boat? No, that was him. That was Captain Jack. You're welcome. I had one stuntman. Uh, I, I, well, I did have a stuntman, but the only bit I can remember him doing was when we were in the cage, rolling down the hill and then eventually falling into the water. The bone cage, we called it. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That was the only uh, scheme when you had a stunt. Well, they pushed it down a mountain and they did want to push it with me in it, so they put the stuntman I in. I can yeah. understand, yes. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Um, was there an object that you were allowed to keep after the shooting? No, I was too late for that. At the end of the first film, there, uh, there's a big box of treasure, Aztec gold. And everybody kept, and I wasn't in the scene, and everyone said, go and get a piece of Aztec gold. So I went down to the studio, but they'd got wise by now and I wasn't allowed in. Because they said at the beginning of the scene, and in fact, if you look at the film, you'll see this. The Aztec gold is heaped high like that. But by the end of the scene, it's about half full. <laughs> because everybody's... You know, just once, well, just one. <laughs> just one. It's so bad, I'm the only person in Pirates of the Caribbean who doesn't have any Aztec gold. I've even been at some conventions and offered other people money for them. But they won't part with it. Oh. But they are cursed, and you're not. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Very good. Hi there. Hello. Um, I was wondering, considering how different pirates are today compared to back then, how do you prepare for such a role? And, you know, there was not much recorded history for us to know how they behave. It's more, more you know, more, mostly it's hearsay and you know, yes. rumors. How do you prepare for that? Well, I think uh, basically... Uh, the pirate tradition comes more from literature than history. So, uh, you know, I read um, Treasure Island again, uh, Robert Louis Stevenson, and, um, but I also... One of the first books I ever read as a kid. What's that? That was one of the first books I ever read as a kid. I know, and it's a great yeah. book, oh, isn't it? Yeah, it's wonderful. Um, but also watching old pirate films. Um, and I'd always wanted, the, the particular voice I do is, um, is a very specific, a mixture of my parents' accents ah. from the West Coast, Bristol, where all the ships used to come from, and from Ireland, my dad, which is also where a lot of pirates came from. A lot of pirates still there, if you ask me. Ah. Um, but so that, that was a voice that I'd played with for years that I wanted to do. So not that much preparation, really. I see. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ah, another Captain Jack. Look. Okay. Yeah, okay. Hello. Hello. Um, my question is uh, if there is uh, anything from the shootings you kept, like a costume piece or object or item. Well, at, um, at the end of the last one, they did give me one of my costumes. So I do have uh, a costume. Uh -huh. They wouldn't give me the sword. I don't know why. They didn't they, trust they, me. They could give me you the I know. sword. It's just a pirate. My, my cutlass. Yeah, but, so I do have my costume. It's <clears throat> so cool. It's not quite as good as his, but it's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you. you. And You're welcome. Uh, the last question is, oh, yeah. why is the rum gone? <laughs> Take a guess. That's, that's the best question. That's why the rum's gone. <clears throat> Cheers. Hello. Hello. Uh, my question is, what was your favorite scene to do with Johnny Depp? My favorite scene was the last scene in the fourth movie when we're walking along a beach with the sunset going down because it, it was a real sunset and we had to wait till it was just right and so it was, it was exciting to do and it was very romantic and it also it seemed to be like a cap to our relationship, you know, as we, as we went off like, I don't know, lovers into the, <laughs> into the sunset. Okay. So I enjoyed that scene very much. Thank you. 
Good morning, Mr. McCauley. Uh, Hello. I would like to ask you, uh, what was your uh, most difficult uh, scene uh, in the movies and uh, why? The most difficult scene was the first one as Mr. Gibbs, um, when I had to try to get the pigs to sleep because they were very excited and I had to sing to them um, to get them to sleep. And it took about four hours to get them to go to sleep. So what? lying in pig poo, <clears throat> is that a phrase you have over here? <clears throat> and mud was really not very pleasant. So that was the most difficult. Thank you. Okay, so this is a real, real question, but sir, can you, have you ever tried something, um, Hungarian drinks? I mean, palinka or just something? <laughs> he just arrived, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, sorry. Yes, I've had a, I've had a bottle of um, Tokai this morning <laughs> for breakfast. <laughs> and I shall be having some furmint afterwards. <laughs> These are really good choices. They are good choices, yes. Thank you for con your consideration. Thank, Thank you. So you. Well, well, they already asked almost everything that I wanted to ask, but okay. I still have a question left. Uh, in the first movie, you mentioned the splinters, the water in your ear and everything, but what was your favorite scene to film in the first film, actually, which didn't get water in your ear or splinters? Um, <laughs> I think my favorite stuff in all of the films was always being at sea in the boats so um that and that they were always the most exciting they were almost they, they, you felt like a pirate and i loved the fighting sequences as well so they were always my favorite scenes thank you oh one more uh, do you uh, do you still know how to sword fight i do oh and after my next bottle of tokai i'm going to show you <laughs> Careful, David. They, they, they are going to bring you one. <laughs> Hello there. Hi. My question is, uh, why do you want to be an actor? Um, I think it was because when I was at school, they used to take... <coughs> excuse me. They used to take us, uh, my dad, when my dad worked, to the pantomime. Do you have a pantomime here? Like a Christmas show? Um, lots of singing, old stories like Aladdin and things like that. And I just fell in love with it and I wanted to do that myself. I didn't know it would, would lead me to be a pirate in a film, but um, it, that was what I wanted. The theater was what I wanted to do. From that big, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Greetings. Greetings. Um, my question would be is that, was there any like improvised scenes in the movies where actors actually forgot their lines or something like that, and they had to make up stuff? Well, not because they forgot their lines, but um, you can actually, you know, when, when you break out of character and laugh in a film, it's called, we call it corpsing. When, you know, you laugh because something stupid has happened. And you can actually see me corpsing in the film, because when I was telling Orlando Bloom the story of Johnny escaping the island, by lashing some sea turtles together, uh, Orlando asks him, he said, uh, where, where did you get the rope? And uh, he just had to say, um, I plaited some hair. But he then decided to add, from my back. <laughs> and I nearly wet myself laughing. Thank you very much. You're welcome. You see, that, that was a good scene. <laughs> My question is not really a question, just I want to st I, I just wanted to see, say, I love your acting in the Pirates of Caribbean, and Thank you. I get really excited when I saw you in the Doctor Who series. Oh, last year, at the end of last year, yeah. That was a fun story, wasn't it? Thank you very much. Yeah, I can see. Hi. Please, can you tell us about your voice acting experience as you were in multiplayer video games? So I would like to ask about this. How was your feeling well, about I, this? Well, I, uh, I love voice acting because um, it's really interesting to have to do everything with just the sound of your voice. You don't have your body to help or your facial expressions. Um, to be honest, most of the things I've done have been Mr. Gibbs, but I did play Robert Falconer in uh, Assassin's Creed, as you probably know. Um, I love it. It's one of my favorite things to do. 
And uh, I'm hoping as I get older, and I can't move about so much, I'll just sit in front of a microphone and do funny voices. Actually, what I want to do most in the world, I'll check this out on you actually, see how you feel. I want to be a Star Wars character, right? Everybody wants to be a Star Wars character. But I don't mind if I'm covered in rubber, latex, because I can still do a good voice, because I can go, Thank you for your answer. Thank you for asking. Hello. Uh, Hello. My question is, uh, was there any scene that you had to reshoot and reshoot because you guys were just laughing so hard? Um, no, we, they, they stick with it. They stick with it. I mean, there were scenes when the director was like, please, please, can we move on? Um, we actually did have to reshoot a scene because we shot it the wrong way round. I don't know how that ever happened. We were on the wrong side, you know, it didn't match. We were on the wrong side of the ships. And um, unfortunately, you, sometimes they flip the film, but you can't because Jack Sparrow's hair would be all wrong. So we had to reshoot that. Thank you. Hi. <laughs> Hi there. Um, I want to ask that uh, a great actor like you who play Claudius, King Lear and uh, Lebedev, uh, why say yes to a role like in Fleabag, where you were? <laughs> why say yes to a what? To a role like uh, you played in Fleabag, the series. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> I'll tell you for why. I was doing a play with Phoebe Waller-Bridge and uh, she asked me and a couple of the other actors if we would help her put this play on that she'd done called Fleabag. So we gave her a little money. I've never seen it back. <laughs> gave her a little money. And she took it to a, the a theater festival. And the rest, as they say, is history. So when she was making the TV show, she phoned me up. And she said, look, I've, I've put that scene in where the old guy is making love to me. And she said, I really don't want to get some old guy I don't know. <laughs> Would you come in and, um, and uh, have sex with me for the day um, and just say, you're so young, you're so young, you're so young. Yes. So I said I'd be glad to. So that was why. I loved it. Thank you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It was uh, difficult uh, playing in these uh, pilots costume. It was Comfortable? Was it comfortable or uncomfortable? Not for me, as I'm sure our friend over here will tell you. I have the most comfortable costume. Uh, it's people like Bob Bosa and, and Johnny Depp who have these huge costumes. Uh, to say nothing of the guys, you know, who have to have the prosthetics, you know, the like, hammerhead shark and stuff. They, um, they had it rough, but mine was easy. A shirt, pair of pants, boots, waistcoat, I'm away. And you are ready to be a pirate. The what? And you are ready to be a pirate. Yes, Just exactly. <coughs> Thank you. Hello there. Hello. OK. Um, my question is that there are many actors who create backstories for their characters themselves. Do you have uh, some backstory for Master Gibbs in your mind? Well, uh, originally, my first scene in the film was with the pigs. And it was only at the read-through that I read the, the Navy guy at the beginning who asked the girl to stop singing. So that became my backstory. He was a Navy guy who was so scared of pirates, the only way he could stop being scared was to become a pirate. So that was my backstory. Thank you. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Um, my question would be that they also mentioned you're a writer. So what kind of pieces do you write? Have you ever written about... Hold I don't that know, thought. Johnny Depp riding into the sunset. <laughs> He's prepared. I know, I know. Now, if any of you wish to improve your English, wow, I can okay. think of no better way than coming and buying a signed copy of Sons of Soul, my first science fiction novel. I expect to see you all later. There's only five there, but I have more upstairs. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Hello, I have 
two short questions. One, who is your favorite doctor? And two, would you recommend being an old-timey pirate now that you've lived the life in a way? <coughs> I would, um, recognize, I, I would uh, recommend being a pirate, although I think there were probably some very boring bits in between. But when you're at sea, it's great. Favorite doctor, um, it's so hard to say. They're all so different. I think most people like their first doctor. And for me, that was the first doctor when I was seven years old in 1963, and he was an actor called William Hartnell. <clears throat> You'll see pictures of him online, I'm sure. I know. I, I'm a big fan of Doctor Who, so... Oh, you know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Who's your favorite? Tennant. I'm very biased. He was David my first Tennant, as well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very good. He was a wonderful doctor, that's true. Hello? Hello. I would like to ask to you which one was your favorite part of the movie, or which one was your favorite movie? Uh, my favorite movie is, um, is number two. Can anybody guess why? It's because it's got the most Mr. Gibbs in it. There's more Mr. Gibbs in the second film than there is in all the other films put together. So that's my answer. Thank you. Ah, Captain Jack, how are you? Mr. Gibbs. Hello. Where is my ship? It's right there. <laughs> Was there a minute ago? I swear to God. Hmm. That's strange. Thank you, Mr. Gibbs. <clears throat> Thank you, Captain. He's been acting a bit strange lately. <laughs> Hello. Hi there, sir. Um, my question would be, do you have a favorite line from the Pirates movies? And if you do, could you quote it and say it as Mr. Gibbs? Yes. Um, uh, although I would imagine, it, for a lot of people, it, you would have heard it in Hungarian by a different actor, I imagine. But my favorite line is um, in the third film when we finally meet Jack in Davy Jones' locker, coming over the ship, uh, uh, over the, the, the dune on a ship. I have to say, slap me thrice and hand me to me mama, it's Jack. <laughs> That's my favorite line. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Hello. Okay. Hello. Uh, my question is, uh, how did uh, Mr. Gibbs become a pirate. pirate. You've spotted the one flaw in my story. I don't know. Um, but I think he got thrown out of the Navy for being drunk. And, and, and that got us the costume because we're, we're, it was called being cashiered and they would rip your sleeves off and throw you out. So I think he was just drinking in, um, in, a, in a tavern. And Jack Sparrow came up to him and said, do you know where I can find some men? Uh, just like he does in the first film. And, and I think I was so drunk, I didn't realize I was becoming a pirate. Must have been a terrible shock when I realized. <laughs> things happen. <clears throat> yes, these things happen, yeah. Thank you. Hello, sir. Um, my Hello. question is, uh, are you always going to be a voice actor? Did I always what? Are you, are you always want to be a voice actor? Um, I, yes, I, I, yeah, I always wanted to do voice acting as well. Um, and in fact, during the pandemic, um, there was a chance to do more of that, um, you know, uh, recording from home and stuff. So uh, I managed to do a lot more of that this last two years. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, so your character in Doctor Who had a little bit of journey, and I was thinking, what if Mr. Gibbs would have his own miniseries or movie, just going on a journey? Maybe Jack wouldn't even believe him. That's something. Fantastic. Well, I'd be very happy for that. Um, I, I had an, I pitched an idea actually that um, that we find Jack and the two slappers. You know, the girls, uh, Esmeralda and uh, es Emerald and yes. whatever that name is. Um, that we were running a pub, and each week 
I would tell, start telling a story to the audience, and then you'd see a story set in the Caribbean. Uh, but they didn't like that idea. But I would love to have a series of Mr. Gibbs, yeah. I think it would be fun. Thank you. Thank you. Hello. Hello, sir. I have one uh, question. Yeah. What's your favorite movie? My favorite movie? Uh, 2001, A Space Odyssey. Is that Stanley Kubrick? And the two great. Great. I'm going to sell him a book, I'll tell you. <laughs> and I think we have the last question here. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello. Uh, I would like to ask that uh, on the set, um, when you do uh, drinking, do you drink really real alcoholic drinks? No, it's Disney. No. <laughs> They don't even let you drink in your trailer. No, um, the worst part of that was I have a little rum thing around my neck and uh, they just put water in it for me to drink. But it was untreated leather, so it always tasted horrible. Like, like drinking off the back of a pig or something. I mean, it was just awful. So no is the answer to that. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello. Just one question. Do you have a favorite cartoon? And if you have one, which is the favorite character you want to play with voice acting? Um, I loved a lot of the cartoons of the 90s. Um, I don't know whether you had them here. I love Johnny Bravo. Oh, mama. Yeah. <laughs> I also very much like Dexter's Laboratory. Yeah, you stupid, stupid sister, that one. And um, what was the other one? Oh, um, I, and I just met these voice actors in Dublin. It's Pinky and the Brain. What are we doing today, Brain? Same as we do every night, Pinky. Take over the world. Nagyon szépen köszönjük a kérdéseiteket, akkor mindenki megkérdezte, amit szeretett volna Mr. McNally-től. Úgy látom, hogy igen. Köszönjük, hogy itt voltatok. Thank you so much for coming us today, Vita Paul. Thank you, and I'll see you all later. Bye-bye. <laughs>